Now let's look at another question on flywheel and this is question number 11. It says maximum fluctuation of kinetic energy in an engine has been found out to be 2600 joules. Assuming that the engine runs at an average speed of 200 rpm, the polar moment of inertia of a flywheel to keep the speed fluctuation within this range of the average speed is, we have to find out the polar moment of inertia. The given data is that the maximum fluctuation, let us say that is delta E max, that is 2600 joules. The mean speed in RPM is 200. Okay, this means I can find out the mean angular velocity. So that would be 2 pi into 200 upon 60. So this gives you 20.94 radians per second. That's omega mean. Now the value of Cs, that is the coefficient of fluctuation, it is plus minus 0.5 percent. Okay, so this would be 0 0.01 from minus 0.5 to plus, we will have 0.5 that is 0 0.005 minus minus of and this would give you 0 0.01. So that is this, this means it is 1%. So the total is 1% of the average speed. Okay. So the value of the formula of delta E max is I into omega mean square into Cs. From this equation, I have to find out I, that's the polar moment of inertia. All right, so you will have, let me use this part. So you will have I as 2600 upon omega mean square, that's 20.94 square into Cs which is 0 0.01. All right, this will give you a value of polar moment of inertia as 592.73 kg per uh, kg meter square, not per meter square but kg meter square. So this is the value we are looking to find out. So again a very simple formula based question on flywheel. Remember this formula to calculate the maximum fluctuation in energy. Okay, so I hope you got this. Now let's move on to question number 12.